I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my students and subscribers for watching my videos. Here is an excellent question from one of my students, Ashwita. Thanks a lot, Ashwita, for posting this question. Uh, and I hope many students will find it useful. Since this is a very common question in any test paper on trigonometric modeling. The question here is, a ferris wheel is 25 meters in diameter and boarded from a platform that is 4 meters above the ground. The wheel completes one revolution in 3 minutes. If a ride lasts for 9 minutes, find all the time at which a person is 15 meters above the ground. So in such questions, it's a good idea to sketch the diagram. So, you know, we are boarding from the bottom, so we will have a sine wave going like this. Now, since we are starting from the bottom, it is good to model this particular motion in the form of a cosine function. Correct? We are boarding from some place which is which is 4 meters above the ground, right? So let's say this is 4 meters above the ground and, and uh, let's say this is the ground level. So, so that is how you could see the position of a person with time. So on the horizontal axis, we have time and here we have the height. This position here is the boarding position 4 meters. Now we are given here that the wheel has diameter of, let's say diameter of 25 meters. That means the radius will be half of this, right? So just keep 25 over 2 as the radius. So that becomes the that is the highest point. So highest point will be diameter away from the lowest point, correct? So this point happens to be at 29, right? So this will be at, let me write 29 here. The, the axis for this particular thing will be right in the center of these, right? So, so the axis will be somewhere here which is in between these two values the mid value so we can add them and divide by 2 so x is will be let's say 29 plus 4 divided by 2 right? so that is going to be the axis so that is the position in the center of the wheel. So we have 29 plus 4 divided by 2 in decimals, let's write 16.5. So we'll use decimals, right? We'll write 12.5 here. Okay. Now, one revolution is 3 minutes. So whenever three minutes are given, it's better to work in uh, degrees. So we'll say time period will be 360 degrees divided by this three minutes, right? So we'll convert to degrees. So we'll work in degrees. Okay. So we get 120 for the time period. Now the cosine function, you can see, starts from the beginning. So it's minus cos. So we can write the function h of t as equal to minus amplitude being the radius. So the amplitude will be the radius. So that is your amplitude. Okay, so half the diameter. So we'll write this as 12.5. The function we are saying minus because cosine function we are taking it up. Okay. And uh, time period is known to us as 3. So k value uh, time period is this. This should be k. Right. So time period is 3. So 2 pi by k. So this is the k value of 120 and time is t. Plus the axis which is 
at 16.5. Do you get the idea? So that is how we get our equation. Perfect. So let me write it correctly. We are given time period T as 3 minutes. So K will be 360 by 3, which is 120. That is this value of K. Correct? Now we want to know the ride lasts for 3 minutes. That means we are looking into a uh, ride lasts for 9 minutes. That means we are looking into how many cycles? 3 cycles. So we are looking that is our 3 cycles. So each cycle takes 3 minutes. So that is how you could see it, right? Okay, so this is time in minutes. And height is in meters. Okay. Find all the time at which a person is 15 meters above the ground. So, so basically, let us say 15 meters you can see will be, let's draw a line there for 15 meters and then we'll figure it out above the ground. So, so slightly less than 16.5, so we want these times. You get the idea, right? So approximately what you see here is that this time definitely is around this peak, a kind of same distance away, right? So that gives you an idea. So if it is a multiple choice question, you could estimate the time, right? Okay, but let's calculate exactly what the time should be. We want the time at the height of 15 meters. So we'll write height as 15 in our equation and solve for t that's the whole that's the idea right so we have 12.5 cos of 120t no phase shift because of that phase shift we have taken minus here right we are starting from the bottom instead of top for a cosine function plus 16.5 right so let's now solve for it so we'll take away so we'll do 15 minus 16.5 right and then we are going to divide by this number which is 12.5 right so let's go in steps so we get minus 12.5 cos of 120 t and now we are going to divide this so we have minus 1.5 that is the difference divided by minus 12.5 equals to cos of 120 t right so this is a positive value uh, let's figure this out so 1.5 divided by 12.5 gives us 3 over 25 which is 0 0.12 so we get 0 0.12 equals to cos of 120 t so so let's find these times now. So let us uh, find the acute angle alpha first and, in, and then we'll actually uh, find the time. So we'll just calculate for cos of theta equals to 0 0.12 or theta equals to cos inverse of 0 0.12, correct? So we get shift cos inverse 0.12 equals 2. So we get angle theta as equal to 83.10. Okay. So that is the, the angle which we get. Now for a cosine function, if you look into one cycle, we get a positive value when cos is in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4 correct so those two values so in this particular quadrant 1 we got 83.10 in quadrant 2 it should be how much it should be 360 minus 83.10 right so that is what you get which is 276.9 so the other value is in this quadrant is 
276.9 okay so these are the two values which you get for cos theta so basically what we have got here is these two values right in terms of theta now what we know here is that 120 t is theta right so we have 120 t as equal to let's work with 83.1 so t will be equal to 83.1 divided by 120 to get the time right so let's get the time it is 83.1 divided by 120 that gives you in decimals sorry <laughs> I did a calculation mistake didn't put a decimal so it is 83.1 divided by <clears throat> 120 so in decimals you get 0 0.69 so that much time you get 0 0.69 you can say 0 0.7 right uh, we can multiply by 60 to get seconds so after let's say 41 this is in minutes right we get 41.5 let's say 42 seconds right so so that is the time which you get the other time which is for 276 will be 276.9 divided by 120 so 276.9 divided by 120 gives you in decimals a value of 2.3 in minutes it is 2 minutes and 0.3 into 60 18 seconds correct so these are the first two times for you right so the rest will be three minutes apart you get the idea the rest will be three minutes apart so so our answer could be so we got two times which are these two times right so here it is zero point let's say 0 0.7 here in minutes and here we have 2.3 so the other one other one is 2.3 let me write on top 2.3 the others will be three minutes apart correct so we could write the answer as uh, first is uh, 42 seconds okay so we get 42 seconds we'll add three minutes to it so we three minutes 42 seconds and then again three minutes so we get six minutes 42 seconds right for the other one we get two minutes and 18 seconds and 18 seconds and we are going to add three to it so we get five minutes we could write like that also 18 seconds or in minutes and seconds we can write this as eight minutes and 18 seconds right so <clears throat> so those are the times when uh, the ferris wheel will be 15 meters above the ground perfect so i hope the logic is absolutely clear to you the concept is clear to you feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you have questions don't hesitate thanks a lot for watching and all the best